Hey guys, welcome back from Backbench Coder. So in the last section, we have finished the home screen. And in this section, we are going to design the watch screen. So if I click on this video, it should be redirected to the watch screen. So let's see the watch screen in our final product. Okay. So in this watch screen, look at this URL. I have this watch slash the video ID. And let's see what we have in this watch screen. So basically, this watch screen is divided into two parts, the left part and the right part. In this left part, I have this video player and then I have this video metadata like video details, the channel details, the video description and all. And then after this, I have this comment section. So inside this comment section, I have this comment input and all these comments related to this video. And then at the right section, I have this related videos. And inside this related videos, I have this separate component. And I'll be making this a separate component. But you might ask me that why to create a separate component? Because we have already a component called video and it holds almost the same data like the video thumbnail, video details, the channel details but I'll be creating a separate component because I'll be using the same component inside the search screen so let me search for a video let's say react and here it is look at this, this is the same component but here we have some defined styles like for the channel we have this rounded border for the video I need to show defined data for the channel I need to show defined data so I'll be creating a separate component cause you don't want to mess with the styles right you can mess with the data conditionally like if this is the watch screen I'll show this data if this is not the watch screen I'll show that data but you don't want to mess with the styles so that's why I'll be creating a separate component okay so just go back to the watch screen okay so that's almost all the components so again this is the video player this is the video metadata this is the comment section and inside this comments component I have this single component which will hold a single comment so something like comment the name of the component and then inside this related videos I have this separate component called video horizontal something like that okay so let's go to the code so first of all I'll be creating a separate screen so inside the screens folder let's maintain the folder structure watch screen watch screen inside this watch screen I'll be creating a .js file which will hold our component .js and also a sas file which will hold our styles watch screen dot sas that's it inside this watch screen let's create the boilerplate rafc that's it just import the watch screen dot sas import dot slash watch screen dot sas and now just render this watch screen in our app so just go to app.js app.js let's create a separate route let's copy a layout route that's it it should be watch and our URL also hold the video ID so colon ID that's it and just remove this age one it should be watch screen watch screen please auto import yeah good job so watch screen is auto imported nice and now just save this watch screen watch just go to our app and let's say slash watch and go to a random ID and here is my watch screen perfect so let's go back to the code okay cool so first of all just remove this div and put a container but remember we have also put a container inside our app like look at this inside our layout where is it yeah so inside this layout I have this container so you don't need to put duplicate container so we can just put a row so inside this watch screen just put a row Oops, capital row bro should be auto imported from react bootstrap let me just close the sidebar and then inside this row I'll have two section the left section and the right section so for the left section just put a column and this column will take eight grids for the large screen so lg8 and just import the column should be auto imported nice and also copy this column and a separate column for the right section so column and it will take four grid for the last screen that's it cool and now for the first column I'll put the iframe here so div with a class name watch screen player player and inside this watch screen video player I have the iframe so iframe nice and let's put the source what should be the source so just go to the Google and search for the YouTube iframe YouTube iframe w3 schools just copy the url i need the url i need the url where is my url here it is just copy this url and just put this in my source nice okay cool and then we need to put some additional properties inside this iframe so first of all it should be camel casing frame border zero 
why the warning because iframe elements must have a unique title property yeah yeah i'll give it a title not a problem bro so title the video title i need to change this dynamically so for now just like my video nice and then just put allow full screen so allow full screen is true and then the width is 100 percent 100 percent and then the height is also 100 percent that's it save this nice and then after this iframe i have this video metadata so let's create a separate component so inside this source go to the components folder inside this components folder let's create a component called video metadata inside this video metadata again maintain the folder structure oops so video metadata dot js also the style file video metadata dot sass nice let's create the dummy component i mean the boilerplate rafc nice just import the sass file import dot slash oops i made a mistake it should be underscore video video metadata so just rename this underscore video metadata and just import this import dot slash underscore video metadata dot says nice so it will be my metadata metadata just for now just import the video metadata component inside our watch screen so just below the watch screen player just import video metadata should be auto imported nice and then just below this i have this comments component so let's create another component comments inside this comments comments.js and also a sas file underscore ops 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 underscore comments dot sas nice inside this comments.js rafc it will be my comments comments also import the sas file import underscore comment dot sas that's it and then at the right side i should show the related videos so inside this column lg4 let's create a dummy array for now so inside a brace dot 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 using the spread operator the array constructor just put 10 the length of the array just map over this and just return video horizontal video horizontal the name of the component it should come up with a great name i mean i suck at naming to be honest it's a typo nice video horizontal so let's create the component inside this inside this source inside this components hmm. video horizontal create two separate files so video horizontal dot js also a sas file underscore video dot sas nice go to the video horizontal rafc nice just render video cool just import the dot sas file import dot slash video horizontal dot says save all the files go to the watch screen and import a component control space should be auto imported please 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 nice save this cool just go to our app go to the youtube using youtube look at this just refresh this i am not seeing the comments cause i have not imported the comments so just go to the watch screen just below the video metadata just import the comments comments should be auto imported auto import does not work sometimes now it did work refresh this okay cool so i have this iframe the video player i have this metadata which will hold all our details about the video the channel details the video description and all and then i have this comment section cool and then i have this 10 video component okay so first of all give this iframe a good height good height wow so just go to watch screen and i have this watch screen player right so i can just target this watch screen player so just go to the sas file Waskin dot says target a waskin player so dot waskin player first of all give this a height of 60 view for height that is enough and then just set a background color so has 353946 just a dark black color and then just set the width to 100 percent so that it takes all the eight grids and just give it a margin bottom of two rem that's it save this cool I will make the changes for the media query at the end of this video. First of all, let's set up all our components. Now just go to waskin.js and now I have this what video metadata. So just go to video metadata. Just close this sidebar. Okay, so let's make the skeleton of this component. And by the way, guys, I'll be using some heavy bootstrap in this section. Okay, so just 
okay so first of all i have a div with a class name what video metadata like just follow the bm naming convention video metadata and then at padding top and bottom to unit so this py2 is coming from bootstrap and then inside the main div i'll have three sections first one the video metadata top the second one is video metadata channel and the third one is video metadata description so again dot video metadata underscore underscore top plus dot video metadata so this will be video metadata underscore underscore channel bm naming convention plus dot dot means div dot i mean by default this is div so this is video metadata again but this time it should be description description and just tab here it is cool why the warning unreachable code detected wow oh i need to wrap this with a with a parenthesis okay so let's go one by one first of all inside this video metadata i have this video title so h5 video title and then after this h5 i have this video statistics so just put a div and then display flex this display flex is coming from bootstrap and then just put some other class like justify content between it will put the maximum space in between the contents and then align item center and then put padding at top and bottom one unit cool inside this div inside a span i need to show the number of views and when the video is released so just copy this from the video.js so inside this video.js just copy this numeral format and the moment just go to video metadata put this here just remove the span i don't remove this ai fill i icon I remove this span too just put this in a single span and then the number of views is like one lakh and publish at when 2020 05 06 or 07 whatever i just need to import the moment and the numeral so import moment from moment also import numeral from numeral okay cool what went wrong inside this span inside this div just remove this span duplicate span save this nice and then at the right add the like and the dislike button so again inside a div just put a span so just go to the top and import an icon from the material design so import react icons slash md material design just import md thumbs up and md thumbs down that's it just copy this md thumbs up just put this inside this span as the component set the size what around 26 cool and then the number of dislikes so just copy this numeral format here just copy this span again for the dislike button this time it should be md thumbs down nice so i'm done with this video metadata top so just close this and then inside this video metadata channel i have the channel details so display flex and the flex direction is row by default put some space in between so justify content between align item center margin and top and bottom two unit padding at top and bottom three unit that's it inside this div just put a div inside this div just put a div this div with a display flex inside this div just put the image just copy the image from the header the image source copy this little icon copy this copy this go to the source put this here nice save this okay cool just put some class name inside this image i want the border radius 50 percent so rounded circle coming from bootstrap also set the margin right three unit save this cool and then the channel data so again inside a div with a class name display flex but this time the flex direction is column so flex column column tab nice okay so inside a span channel name you know what just do some self promotion so backbench coder check out the channel guys and then again inside a span the number of subscribers again copy the numeral format so copy this inside this span it should be subscribers cool inside this div the button 
the subscribing button so give this button a class name button I want no border so border none I mean border 0 padding at all side 2 unit margin at all side 2 unit that's it the text is subscribe so here I need to get the subscription status if the user is subscribed to this channel I need to show subscribed with the gray background and if the user is not subscribed I need to show subscribe with the red background that's it and with that I am done with this video metadata channel section and then inside this description tag let's put some lorem ipsum with 50 words that's it save this and let's go to the app let's see what we have refresh this hmm something went wrong which is this like should be at the right but this is not at the right what went wrong let's go to the video metadata and by the way guys you will find the source code in the description so if it seems boring the layout seems boring you can just skip that it's up to you okay so not end this div here instead just end this div at the end of this video top save this that's nice and now just add some margin right at the span so just go to the span mm, here md thumbs up mar class name margin right 3 unit just copy this class name put this inside this span that's it save this cool now just go to video metadata.sas just close all the unnecessary files okay so first of all just import the base.sas file so at the rate import underscore base.sas file now just target the video metadata class the parent class video metadata so just make this side by side cool first of all just target the top so video metadata top underscore underscore top I mean ampersand underscore underscore top that will just concatenate with the parent class and then just target the span and make the cursor pointer that's it that's all for the top section and then target the channel so again ampersand underscore underscore channel first of all give this a slight border at top and bottom so border top 0 0.2 pixel solid the border color defined in the base.sas file just copy this this is border bottom save this nice I have this border I just need to resize the image so let's target the image inside this channel img width 50 pixel height what 50 pixel again that's cool now I just need to design this subscribe button so inside this channel let's target the button first of all give this a background color background color red and then the color the text color is pure white Hala Madrid. Just remove the border radius, so border radius none. Make all the letters uppercase, so text transform uppercase. Just add some letter spacing because this is more dense. So 0 0.5 pixel. The border radius none did not work. I mean, why it should work? It should be border radius 0. Come on, Sumit. Okay, let's target on hover state. Let's make this larger. Cool. Let's target this on hover state, so ambersen, colon hover and again if you have any confusion you can just hover over this look at this this is button on hover state so color no change on color so color pure white okay on focus state so again ambersen colon on focus no border so border none no outline so outline none that's it save this cool and now for the description i have this show more and the show less text let me show you this is my final product and look at this I have this so more and so less so you can write your own logic to implement this feature but there is a separate npm package called react so more text which exactly does this so let me just install this package so just in your terminal this is npm install react so more text let's install this package and let it install and continue the design so I'm done with this video channel and let's target this video description so underscore underscore description okay so I'm done with this top ampersand underscore underscore description first of all resize the font so font size 0 0.9 and then white space preline and just add a border bottom so just copy the border bottom this is border bottom that's it save this I don't know what happened with my voice 
if something happened and by the way guys the npm package is installed so just go to the video metadata.js and let's implement this package cut this lorem ipsum and just import this component which is import from just mention the package first which is react so more text and just import so more text the name of the component that's it and then inside this description just put this so more text inside this so more text just put the lorem ipsum i mean the video description just pass this as the children okay so inside this so more text just pass some properties first of all the number of lines the number of lines it should render at first so during the so more state it will only show three lines and then the text you want so for the more just show so more and for the less in the less state so less that's it and also you can pass a class so anchor class so more text just name of the class and by default it should not be expanded so expanded false that's it save this let's see go to youtube using youtube oh, it already has three lines so just make this six lines just copy this copy this save this here it is look at this if i click on this so more i have this so less so less click on this so more so less nice let's design this so less and so more so just copy this anchor class so more text just go to video metadata or says inside this description dot so more text okay so this is basically an anchor tag right so first of all just remove the text decoration so text decoration none display block just add a margin at top and bottom one rem and left and right zero make the color white and the font weight bolded so font weight 500 save this cool that's good so so more so less now let's render this comments so just go inside this comments comments.js let's close this video metadata video metadata.sas okay so this component will show the number of comments the comment input field and the list of comments so just remove these comments instead just put a class name at this div so div class name what comments the parent class name inside this comments just put a paragraph like one two three four number of comments cool and then the comment form so div the class name is comment form with the class name display flex which is coming from bootstrap the width is 100 percent so w100 margin and top and bottom two unit that's it inside this div just put the user's icon so image source just copy the user's image from the headers sorry the header.js just copy the user's image put this inside this source also put some class name inside this image class name first of all i want the border area 50 percent so rounded circle margin right three unit that's it and then just put the form with the class name display flex and flex grow one that's it i don't need the accent instead i want to trigger a function on on submit event so on submit let's name this function handle submit or handle comment this is better handle comment let's define this at the top const handle comment just an arrow function that's it cool okay so inside this form i have the input input with a class name flex grow one that's it the type is text the placeholder what write a comment that's it save this and then place the button so button with no border so border zero padding at all side two unit that's it this is comment cool and then after this div i have the comments list so after this div div with a class name with a class name comments underscore underscore list let's create a dummy array to show the comments so dot 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 the spare operator the array constructor the number of comments let's say 15 just map over this just return what i can comment component comment 
that sys just create the component just go to source inside this components folder comment another folder it will hold our single comment so comment.js that's it rafc the boilerplate let's design the skeleton of this comment so this div with a class name comment the parent class name also add some padding at all sides so p with two unit and of course the display flex inside this i have the user's image so img with a source just copy the source from this comments you know what just copy this whole image tag so inside this comment just put this image tag the class name rounded circle margin right three absolutely fine and then after this image just put the comment body so div comment underscore underscore body inside this comment body just put a p tag in the paragraph with the class name what like comment header inside this the name of the user who made this comment so sumit de and how many days ago he made that comment so just copy this from the moment format i can get that from video.js this moment published now just copy this brace go to comment put this here i also need that dot where is the dot here it is inside this comment just put it here cool need to import this moment so import and this is published at just remove this and put this 2020 05 just some random date 05 that's it cool and after this comment header another paragraph tag and the text of the comment like nice video dude save this cool just import this comment inside this comments comment should be auto imported this time this is imported nice okay so let's design these comments let's see what we have refresh this wow nice just make this side by side go to comments.sys.sys first of all target the comments form you just copy this class it should be comments form not comment form comments form copy this dot comments form save all the files cool so inside this form just target the image and make this with 50 pixel height also 50 pixel and maintain the aspect ratio so object fit content nice okay let's target the input so input first of all make the background transparent transparent i don't want any border so border none but at the border bottom so border bottom two pixel solid the color 353946 you can use border color but just to be a little different cool and the color of the text is pure white you know what pure white means yeah and on focus on focus i don't need this outline so just remove this outline so inside this input ampersand on focus state outline none nice so i get the button so close this input close this image button first of all at the background color the same color as the border so 353956 the text color is pure white and just add a letter spacing of 0 0.5 pixel save this nice the color seems more highlighted so it should be 353946 now also change the border color so 353946 that's better now target the button on focus state I don't want any border I don't want any outline save this and believe me I'm done with this comments list so just go to this comment go inside this comment.js I have not created a comment.sys file just create the underscore comment.sys wow comment.sys cool just import this comment.sys file import dot slash underscore comment.sys cool go inside this comment.sys first of all target the comment the parent class 
just resize the font so font size 0.9 rem and just add a border bottom so just copy this border bottom color from this comment says inside this input just copy this border bottom color go to comment.says put this here save this nice and now just resize the image to target the image width is 50 pixel height is 50 pixel save this nice nice dude and now just target the header so comment underscore underscore header the color is pure white I also need to remove the default margin of this paragraph so just go to comment.js and set this P just make this margin margin bottom 0 save this yeah, it's better actually make this margin bottom 1 yeah, it's better and also for this second paragraph class name margin bottom 1 or margin bottom 0 yeah, it's better okay so I have this left section ready and let's go for this right section so let's go to the video horizontal this video horizontal make this larger video horizontal dot js I don't need these components so first of all from the video component I need to get some import statement so just copy this lazy load image component moment request ai fill i copy all of this just go to video horizontal dot js and paste this here I need all of this first of all just remove this div and put a row inside this row this is already display flex just import this row nice so just add some other class name like like video horizontal the parent class name margin at all side 1 unit m1 padding at top and bottom 2 unit py2 row is already a flex box so i can define align item center so align item center that's it inside this row i'll put two column so column should be auto imported and for the first column it will take six grid for the small screen so x is six and from the medium screen it will take four columns so it will take six column up to the medium screen and from the medium screen it will take four columns and just copy this column so for the second one it will take six columns up to the medium screen and from medium screen it will take eight columns save this nice so let's add a class name at the first column which is what video horizontal left so class name video underscore underscore left and for the second one this is underscore underscore right save this cool so inside this left section i have the image and the duration so again just copy this video lazy load image component from the video.js so i can just copy this lazy load image and the duration and put this here and have the source so just remove this source and put the source just copy this from the header.js just copy this source go to video horizontal put this here that's pretty much it and then you can set the class name for the image so class name what video horizontal thumbnail and you can also pass the wrapper class so wrapper class i mean the class of this pen wrapper class name what video horizontal thumbnail wrapper video horizontal thumbnail wrapper the duration i need to get this from the video.js i can just copy this so just copy this duration and just and just go to the component just put this at the top nice the duration is something like what 100 zero zero. just make this anything just give this some dummy duration and just copy this duration here and put this inside this curly brace that's it and then inside this video horizontal right first of all remove the padding at all sides so p0 and then inside this I have the video horizontal title so p dot video horizontal underscore underscore title just give it margin bottom of one unit so mb1 then the title like be a full stack developer in one month save this like that's some catchy title okay so 
after this I have this video horizontal details so video horizontal underscore underscore details nice and I can just copy this again the data from this video dot js the details here it is copy this go to the component and paste this actually I don't need this pen so I can just remove that I don't need this pen just remove the closing span that's it the views 1 lakh publish at some dummy date like 2020 0809 nice and then inside this right section I have this video horizontal channel so again put a div video horizontal underscore underscore channel save this ok so inside this channel I have the channel icon so just copy this lazy load image component put this here just remove the class name and the wrapper class I don't need this but for now I'll just comment this out cause I don't wanna show this channel icon inside our watch screen I'll show this inside our search screen but not on our watch screen so just comment this out I need to change that dynamically ok so inside this channel just put a p tag I mean the paragraph the name of the channel backbench coder ok so just add some class name at this channel so video horizontal channel first of all display flex align item center and margin at top and bottom one unit save this let's see wow nice just go to video horizontal dot says let me just copy the says file and then i'll just explain this line by line cause for you it might seem boring to see the same style again and again so let me just copy this ok so here it is ok so first of all just import the base.sass file and then just target the parent class the video horizontal and add a border bottom this border color is coming from the base.sass file and then the cursor pointer so the user can click any video just to indicate that and then just target the left section make this position relative cause I need to show the duration the duration has the position absolute and then text align center some basics and then for the thumbnail the thumbnail wrapper class the width has 100 percent this is a span tag by the way and for the duration some basic style padding at all size 0 0.2 rem background some transparent black color and then border radius 3 pixel just to give this a rounded look and then just target the detail section resize the font to 0 0.9 rem then just target the title element make the font size 1 rem color is pure white give this a letter spacing of 0 0.1 pixel actually make this 0 0.3 pixel and then include line clamp 1 remember this line clamp is a mix in and this is defined in base.sass file let me show you this is a line clamp so this number is the variable and I am just passing the 1 as the parameter so inside this video horizontal says I can just include this using at the rate include line clamp 1 very simple and then just target the channel just target the channel icon using this image give this a width of 36 pixel height of 36 pixel border radius 50 percent margin right whatever remember I am not showing this image inside this watch screen but I will be showing this image I mean the channel icon inside our search screen and then just target the channel title the font size 0 0.9 rem just resize the font and then just use the line clamp mix in line clamp 1 cool and for the media query I mean for the responsiveness I am using the max width breakpoint small so up to breakpoint small I want to override the styles just make this 0 0.8 rem 0 0.8 rem cool the details line clamp 1 again just target the channel set the margin at top and bottom don't display the image if it is under the under the breakpoint small which is 520 pixel and then just target the description tag which I don't have right now I'll be showing this description tag inside our search screen and then just target the title increase the font size to 1 rem and then again use the line clamp mix in and pass 2 so it will only show 2 lines save this go to the web app look at this now as this image is rounded by default this duration is not well placed so it may seem an ugly layout 
but when you will be getting the right image it will be perfect play this video nice pause this okay so i have this comment section i have this comment input i have this related videos and that's pretty much it and again if i need to change anything i'll change this at the last part of this project and that will be based on the refactoring part like it's 4 am like it's 357 so please hit the like button if you are enjoying this project and if you are new to this channel i make videos on web development and web designing so if it sounds interesting please consider subscribe my channel please consider this and see you in the next video bye bye